This is running natively on my Quest 2. Look at it. J just, just look at it. it. It looks incredible. How is this running on a three? Four hundred dollar headset. Okay, so today we're looking at Red Matter 2, a game with the most stunning graphics I have ever seen in any Quest 2 game. We'll explore this new VR game from four perspectives and rest assured you have my no spoiler guarantee. Let's start with the obvious, Red Matter 2 looks insane for a Quest game. The way the light bounces, the reflections, textures and sheer realism of the world are off the charts. When the developers initially showed the teaser trailer, I did not believe they could actually pull it off. And I've even publicly said it on Twitter, so I owe the team at Vertical Robot an apology for not trusting them. They have done an incredible job and the finished product is a testament to how much more performance a team of experienced developers can squeeze out of this two-year-old headset. By the way, what's the most beautiful game you've ever played on your Quest 2? Comment below and I'll let you enjoy exactly 60 seconds of uninterrupted gameplay in the meantime. The station is massive. How'd they keep it hidden? Space is vast, Sasha. If you're not looking for it, you'll never find it. Worked. Excellent. Let's get inside. Visuals are only one half of the story and sound is the other. The spatial audio, aka the directional accuracy, is masterfully crafted and the subtle shifts in volume really add to the immersion. In terms of voice acting, it's again excellent. Like honestly, this game is a testament to what a very good Quest 2 game should look like. By the way, which shuttle do you like the most? Subscribe for the red one and like for the white one. Smooth, right? You know, screw it, just click on both. Leave a rocket emoji in the comments, why don't you? Moving on to the story, it takes place during a dystopian Cold War. The events of Red Matter 2 occur after the ones in the first game, and I recommend playing both if you haven't already. You'll embark on the journey of a lifetime, as the devs put it, and reach the furthest depths of the solar system trying to get justice and rebel against the rulers that have entrapped humanity. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll shut up now. Cause, you know, I gave you my no-spoiler guarantee. Gotta respect it. Okay, okay, the game looks amazing, the story is interesting, but how is the actual gameplay experience? Well, I'm happy to say that they've nailed this aspect too. Even in the pre-release version I've played, there were no noticeable bugs or issues at all. At its core, Red Matter 2 is a puzzle adventure, so you'll encounter lots of escape room-like situations. I actually used to own a physical escape room and I can tell you from experience that it's not easy to find a satisfying balance between how difficult the puzzles are. This being the second Red Matter game, the devs definitely had great experience in designing the rooms, clues and puzzles and it shows in a big way. The objectives are challenging but always logical and very satisfying to solve. Another important aspect to note for some of you is that it's very unlikely you'll get motion sick playing this, since the movement is fairly slow and you also have a ton of comfort options in the settings, so Red Matter 2 is VR noob safe. Here's another uninterrupted 60 seconds of puzzle gameplay clips and then I'll give you some final thoughts. long-range transmission terminal. Looks like it's picking up an incoming signal. How is that even possible?
I genuinely don't remember the last time I've played a game that was this well crafted from top to bottom. If you're familiar with my videos, you know all too well that I don't praise a lot of games and I always try to balance my reviews with some negatives as well, but Red Matter just doesn't have any, or at least I haven't found them yet. So whether you're a super fan of VR puzzle games, enjoy a great story or just want some drool worthy graphics, then Red Matter 2 is 100% worth your time. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here, hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you soon. Cheers guys!